Hey guys, Hillbilly back with you here again. Got some tools I just got in the mail this morning. A little unboxing I guess we're going to do. As you can see, ship to Hillbilly Nitro from St. Paul, Minnesota. What we have here is some um, EDS ball drivers and a flathead screwdriver these are some pretty nice tools I have a friend that has some of these and he's been using his for a while I mean his uh, his handles are almost completely silver from where he's used them so much the, the red is wore off of them so he highly recommended them to me and I actually I used them and they seem like they hold up very well the tips on them you can get their, they sell the just the tips if you need replacements or whatnot and the tips are like three uh, around three uh, three ninety nine for the balls and I think there's three three twenty or three forty one for the for the Allens but I just got the balls here, the, the, the ball drivers today. I'm going to save up and buy the Allen drivers. But I'm focusing on finishing the B3 project up first before I, don't, before I buy the Allen heads. I don't really need those right now. I have some that can get me by. But I needed some ball drivers big time. And these are sweet. Red's my favorite color anyway, so. And from what I understand, I, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube, and I've seen some people speak pretty highly of them. They run about, they're under $9 a piece. They're, they're about eight. They're eight something and some change a piece. Definitely better than the, the hoodie. They're like 20 bucks a pop. Any of those hoodie drivers are 20 plus a pop almost, from what I've seen anyway. But these seem to be pretty good, pretty good quality. And they're made out of spring steel, just like the, the hoodie and the dynamites. And, and so the spring, t spring steel is where the quality's at. So if they've got good spring steel, that's the way to go. I got the uh, got a 5.5 turnbuckle wrench. There's a part number on the turnbuckle. That's all I really need on the B3 right now. That's all it uses. Pretty nice little wrench to focus. Yes, good quality from what I see. And we have the flathead here. They have a couple of different sizes in the flathead. This is a three millimeter on the tip. It's 120, 120 millimeter long. And I think they make a couple of different sizes in it. In this, it's a uh, 120 millimeter. Or no, this is a this is a 150 millimeter. And they make a 200 millimeter, I believe. And then they make a I think they make a hundred. They make one that's shorter. There's a flathead, three millimeter. They make one on the tip. It's, I think it's double the size of this three. It's about five millimeter, I think. A lot thicker on the tip. These tips are about, I think they're three ninety nine, three something a piece. All the all their tips, replacement tips, run around three bucks. So that's pretty good. I ordered some stickers. I didn't know if they was going to come with some stickers or not. I ordered these. It's like two bucks. And then every, all the driver set, as you can see with the 
flathead they come with a set of stickers here's the part number on the flathead here's a part number on the ball drivers these were like 34 34 dollars for the four piece set and it's around the same for the hex drivers for the four piece uh, and they do make these in two different sizes they make a shorter version of these they're a little bit shorter I forget I think they're I think they're like 60 millimeter long instead of 120 so it'd be half I kind of like the longer ones that way in case I need to get in the tight spots don't have a lot of room but I do plan on getting the Allen heads but like I said, until I finish up the B3 project, I'm going to wait on it. I just don't really have the money to put out on all that. They make flywheel, the flywheel uh, wrench. They make a flywheel puller to pull the flywheel off. And all their, all their tools are reasonably priced from everything I looked at. They have tool bags. They have... Um, they have body clips. They have silicone hoses. They have just about everything you need, like the setup tools, ride height gauges, body reamers, spring pullers, everything you need. And all, like I said, all reasonably priced. I just, you know, that huddy stuff, you know, it's, people say it's the best, but they're also, everything's super expensive. But I, I me knowing a friend that has some of these and he speaks highly of them and then you know the couple of youtube videos i've seen those folks didn't have anything bad to say about them either so like our my friend john says work like a gentleman have good tools that's the first thing you want to do when if you're just getting into this hobby get some decent tools and It'll save you a lot of time. I had a nightmare problem. I was using these. I have a couple of ball, ball or Allen drivers, but I was using these Craftsman Allen wrenches, and these are actually new. They've never been used. I've only had them for about five months, but I've never used them. And as you can see, stripped. I done that. I'm putting together the. B3, those three most common ones I use, which is the 1.5, the 2, and the 2.5, stripped. And that ends up stripping your, when they start getting stripped like this, they'll end up marring up your Allen head screws and end up stripping your screws. So save yourself some time, headache, and get you a decent set of drivers ball drivers and hex drivers i would highly suggest you know if it's if it's a matter of money you're on a budget get the ball drivers first and maybe you know use a couple of allen wrenches because these will go do anything you need to do if you're in whether it's tight spots because you can get into different angles with these you just don't have to be straight down and those allen heads i mean you have to be straight on top of the screw or it's not going to work so you know if it's a matter of one or the other get your ball drivers first and then save up to get you some allen drivers because you can do both with these and like i said if you have to use an allen wrench and when you're tightening up something real tight or whatnot and you don't want to put a lot of pressure or think you're, I don't know, I guess in a tight spot and you might scratch something up or whatnot, you know, stick your ball driver down in there and do your work. That was an issue I had with my 
putting my motor, installing my mo my reds motor on the motor mounts is an Allen head would fit, Allen wrench would fit down in it, but a longer Allen uh, driver wouldn't because it was at an angle and it was scratching up the side of the motor. And if I'd have had one of these, it would have been no problem at all. It ended up I having to, I had to sit there and wrench for 15 or 20 minutes getting those bolts in on the motor mount and trying not to scratch the side of the motor up on the reds motor which is black so it's going to scratch if i hit it so allen heads are definitely needed and you know, like i said you get stickers with them too i didn't know the stickers would come they were only a couple bucks, so no big deal there. But I highly recommend them, you know. I like my Craftsman screwdriver. I've had this one forever. But thought I'd go ahead and get me a good tuning screwdriver. These are a good choice, too. If, you know, you can get these at Lowe's. I do believe they still have them. I've had these T-handled Allen wrenches for since 2001, over 15 years. I used to be in ma do maintenance and at apartments and I built a lot of kitchen sink faucets, bathtub faucets, you know, any kind of sink faucets and plumbing and stuff. And these things are still kicking to this day. These are these are quality. They can, I don't know if they still have the same logo or logo there, but it's Allen. That's what it says. You can get these at Lowe's, probably Home Depot as well. These are quality as well. That Craftsman stuff, no. I've had another but and I've had trouble out of other Craftsman Allen wrenches too, so. Anyway, it's enough bashing on them. I'm just couldn't believe that happened that quick with those. Well, I guess that's uh, it for today. I plan on doing another video when I get some more of these. When I get the Allen drivers. And I'm going to get the fly, the clutch, the flywheel wrench, and probably some more turn turnbuckle wrenches, a reamer, and a spring puller for sure. And I'll do a part two or chapter two on the video and or on these and let you know how these are holding up. I get some time on these. I don't see them being a problem. They look like quality. So anyway, guys, fellas, I guess I'll let y'all go. Work like a gentleman on your car or truggy, buggy or truggy. Work like a gentleman on your RCs. Good tools are a must. Anyways, till next time, folks. Uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Like, share, subscribe. We'll be glad to have you aboard. More videos coming soon. Over and out.